Hi guys, today I'm going to be making a white chocolate chip and walnut trifle. Take a look at it. With every bite of this, you get a morsel of white chocolate chips and walnuts. The cake is very, very moist and around the edges and the top is so crunchy and delicious. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Alright guys, so let's go over the ingredients that we're going to need. 3 and 1 3rd cup of all-purpose flour, this is not sifted. 3 teaspoons of baking powder, not baking soda. 1 and a half cups of regular white sugar. 1 cup of butter softened to room temperature. 4 eggs. 1 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, any brand will do. 1 teaspoon of pineapple or lemon extract. We're going to need our hand mixer and we're going to need a pan that's greased and floured. This is 9 by 13 by 2. It's not floured yet, okay? So let's start off with our bowl and I'm going to add the butter here first, the 1 cup of butter. Next, I'm going to add the cup and a half of white sugar to this and then just use my hand mixer to blend for a little while, for maybe I'd say 5 to 8 minutes at the most, okay? You don't want to overwork this. Now it's time for me to add my eggs one at a time. And after each egg, you just want to make sure it's well incorporated before you add the other one, okay? So that's the second one. Use the spatula every now and again to go ahead and scrape down the side of the bowl like I'm doing right here. And then pretty much we add the last egg and just get it worked in like this. Take a break with the hand mixer for a minute here to add the extract. And lemon or pineapple is the best, not vanilla for this cake, okay? Now, I've incorporated the baking powder with the flour already, and I'm just adding the dry ingredient first. And I'm not going to add all of the dry first, of course. I do it in thirds. One third of the dry, one third of the wet. See, I've added the milk right here. And then now here we go with the second batch of the dry. And you want to keep the hand mixer on low because you don't want to have a big old poof of flour cloud going on in the kitchen, all right? So just get this working really well and add the last bit of wet. I always start off with dry first and wet, but you can do the reverse. Give this a rest again. Now it's time to just go ahead and get the legs or the feet of this cleaned off. And the next thing we're going to do is add one cup of our white chocolate chips. This is so gorgeous right here in this red cup. Dump it into the bowl and now it's a matter of folding. No more stirring, okay? Fold, fold, fold. Get all the batter up off the sides and just fold the chocolate chips in. Now let's work on our nuts and I'm just going to go ahead and cut this a little bit smaller or chop it a little bit smaller. We don't want it to turn to powder though, okay? Just make the big bites a little bit smaller. Dump it into the bowl and then we do the same thing like when we added the chocolate chips. You can add some sprinkles in this right now if you want and it'll make for a prettier cake but we don't like sprinkles so we're not going to add that. Look how thick the batter is guys. The spatula can stand in it. Now here's the pan. I've already floured it. Now it's just a matter of dumping the batter in and it doesn't pour easily, okay? You, you're going to have to fight with it. Just get it all in there, scrape out your bowl completely and then just kind of knock it down like this to make sure it's even and then put it into the oven that's preheated on 350 degrees Fahrenheit and let this go for about 35 to 40 minutes, okay? So let's go into the oven. Now here we are, 40 minutes later done beautiful it's supposed to crack open like this because it has a lot of butter let it cool first for about five to ten minutes before you release it from the sides like this and it shouldn't give you any problems to come out because the pan is non-stick plus it's greased and floured now dump it onto the wire cooling rack allow this to cool for about 20 minutes before we cut into it and i'm cutting into it right now but this knife is not really working out so I'm going to have to switch to another knife. Let me show you what's going on. This knife is just straight. This one is serrated. So you want a serrated knife because this is a really crunchy cake, okay? Cut off the first batch. Take a look at this, guys. How gorgeous is this? The milk chocolate, I mean the white chocolate and then the nuts. Look at the back. This is so crunchy. We all fight for the back in here. Let's cut another piece so you guys can take a look. See? Gorgeous. Alright guys, so there you have it. I have a video here at the side already with our Belizean trifle and it uses the same recipe except on the inside we put coconut flakes. I really don't know which one I like better because on the one hand, I like our Belizean trifle with the coconut flakes, but nobody else in this house likes the coconut flakes except for Joe and me. 
So I had to try to change something about this recipe for the kids so that they would enjoy it. And once I put the white chocolate chips in there, I, I don't think it'll go well with the regular chocolate chips, like the milk chocolate or the dark chocolate. The white chocolate chips was the thing that kind of set it off. Uh, once I put that in there with the walnuts, and you can put any other nuts you like, okay? You can put macadamia nuts or pecans or whatever. I really wanted to put macadamia nuts, but I couldn't find any. So um, with the walnuts and the white chocolate chips, the kids just loved this cake. It was so awesome. And if you let it sit overnight for the next day, there's something that happens to the white chocolate chips that makes it even more sugary. So when you bite into it, you get like a clump of sugar. It is so divine. I promise you, you're going to be eating this whole thing in one sitting. So pace yourself, okay? This is so delicious. You can make this for any occasion. Take it with you to a potluck. And I promise you're going to be the hit of the potluck. People are going to go, what kind of cake is that? It's just sweet enough. It's not overly sweet. And it's very, very moist. And the outside part of it, there's just something that happens when you make this thick kind of batter that makes the outside so delicious and just a wonderful texture, okay? I want to thank you guys so much for watching the show. I, I know it takes time out of your busy schedule to watch my shows, and I'm really appreciative that you do. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, okay? I've been getting messages from YouTube lately that when I put up my videos, they'll say, this video has gotten more likes in uh, right after you upload it than any of your other videos that you've uploaded in the last six months. So that's been pretty awesome to get those kind of messages. And it's because of you guys hitting like, okay? Thank you so much for sharing the videos um, with your friends and family because that helps a whole lot to get the word out. As you can see, my little channel is growing. I'm well above 15,000 subscribers and that is just mind-blowing to me. I never thought that would ever happen. And I know that there are other YouTubers that grow big pretty quickly, but I've been growing at a steady rate and I really and truly appreciate every one of, every one of you, okay? Um, um, thank you for visiting my website. I'm losing my train of thought and picking up the items that I'm selling. And um, pretty much until I see you guys again, take care. Thank you so much for liking the video and subscribing. Please check out my other two channels, the Product Review channel, Bear Pantry Talk, and come have some fun with my family and me over at the vlog channel, Babs Bear Talk.